Hello everyone and welcome to my video on one of the newest weapons to Old School RuneScape, the Colossal Blade. The Colossal Blade can be obtained from the Giant's Foundry for 5,000 Foundry reputation. And if you need some info about the Giant's Foundry, I have three videos that I uploaded recently about the Giant's Foundry showcasing how to do it and some of the best setups. Now this video is going to be focused on the Colossal Blade, so let's go ahead and get into that. First and foremost, I guess I will go ahead and show off the stats of the Colossal Blade. It has 100 melee strength, so an extremely strong weapon. It is equal to a barrel chest anchor in that uh, regard. But if you actually check it out, it has 98 slash and 65 crush, while the barrel chest anchor only has 10 slash and 92 crush. As for attack options, the Colossal Blade has 4 attack options, which is slash attack XP accurate aggressive slash xp for strength and it does also have a crush option for strength xp and then it also has a defensive option so if there's some monsters that are weak to crush you have that option and you also have that option with slash though slash is much better with the accuracy of 98 versus 65. the colossal blade is also a tier 60 weapon which means it requires 60 attack and it also has a very special effect where the monster size that you're facing increases the max hit of the Colossal Blade up to a 5x5 five five monsters. For example, Seracnus, which is one of the bosses I'll be testing within this video, has a 5x5 five five size, so the max hit will be increased by 10 uh, using the Colossal Blade. So every size of the monster increases the max hit of the Colossal Blade by 2, capped at 10 for a 5x5. Five five. I should also mention the Colossal Blade has an attack speed of 6, which means it can attack every 3.6 seconds. So it is actually faster than a God Sword and faster than a Dragon 2 Ander, which is a level 60 attack weapon. Now unfortunately the DPS calculator that I use hasn't been updated with the Colossal Blade, so I cannot show you guys that, but I will go ahead and show you guys the gear I'll be using testing out the Colossal Blade. And I do realize a lot of people watching this may not have the exact gear I have. Maybe you have better gear, maybe you have worse gear, but this is just the best gear I have. I will also be using the Piety Prayer, and I also have 98 Strength, 89 Attack, and 89 Defense. And I will be using Super Combat Potions when killing the bosses in this episode. Now I will just go ahead and say I will be killing some Wilderness bosses as well, and during those Wilderness bosses I will not be bringing in a max setup, because that does not sound like a smart idea, so the setup will be adjusted when killing the Wilderness bosses. With that being said, let's go and get into our first boss, which is going to be Seracnus. Seracnus is a 5x5 monster, so I assume the Colossal Blade is going to work out very well there. And I'm very curious if the kills are going to be decently fast, if they're going to be slow, is the Colossal Blade going to just absolutely destroy it with its amazing accuracy and a max hit which is plus 10 what it would normally be? Well, let's go find out. One final thing I want to mention before we start bossing is my max hit with the Colossal Blade, max gear, piety, and Super Combat Potions is a 63 on a 5x5 monster. Now I'm pretty much here at the Seracnus boss, but there is one thing I do want to show off about the weapon, which has nothing to do with efficiency or how good it is, but the weapon just looks very cool and has some very cool animations. First of all, slashing a web, which is, I assume is how you attack, has a very cool animation, and then while running with it, you also drag it on the ground. I'm pretty sure there's a League of Legends character, I've never played League myself, so I couldn't tell you, that has a sword that's very similar to this. I've heard a lot of people say that, so very, very cool. And you just drag it one hand even when you walk. Very, very awesome weapon. Let's actually go and kill some Seracnus now and see how it performs. There is the first kill with the Colossal Blade. Not too, too bad. I definitely used the whip more than I should have. I was trying to just bring it for the minions. I want to do a few kills and see how it actually performs uh, more realistically. So let's get a few kills in. And I'm also using this like boss track or whatever, and we'll see how well it does. There is a 61. Very nice. So I knew we can hit pretty high. 61 is the highest I've seen so far. There is a 62. That is the highest I've seen so far. There is another 61, so so far this kill, I've already seen three 60 pluses, so this weapon, you know, it can be pretty decent. That kill looks like it was, uh, fat? was it fast or slow? No, that kill was slower, so we'll, we'll do a few more test runs. I felt like that kill was better, but apparently it wasn't. Uh, still, sub two minutes, not terrible. 
So I decided to ignore the minions on the second phase to see how much faster the kill would be. And looks like we got a 120 this time. I'm curious if I can actually get a sub one minute. The hits weren't amazing there. I think I can with the red RNG, so let's keep going. Okay, that kill was decently fast. Will it be our new personal best? A 114, that is our new personal best. So I think that will be my last kill of the Sir Agnes testing. I know I did an extremely low uh, sample size, only eight kills for a sample size for the sword. But honestly, I think that's all I need to kind of give my opinion. And my opinion is pretty much exactly what I thought on the sword, what I think it's going to be good for. It's not amazing when you're the level I am on the account. I'm a level 118, 98 strength, 89 attack, 89 defense. You know, there's better weapons I can use. I have a whip. A whip probably would have performed better than the Colossal Blade. Um, if I had an Elder Maul, Elder Maul probably would have performed better. Any like higher tier weapon will perform uh, better. But as a tier 60 weapon, I think it's actually pretty decent. And what I mean by that is if you're a mid-level account and let's say you just completed Monkey Madness and you just got a, yourself a Dragon Scimitar and maybe you want to do some bossing. I remember on the Group Iron Man series, we did Seracnus very early on in the account. The Giant's Blade is perfect for doing early bossing on an account. So if there's some Seracnus grind, maybe you want to try to get the cudgel to speed up your slayer grind a little bit maybe you grind out the colossal blade at the giant's foundry and then you can use that for bosses it could be good for uh dk's if you're a lower level account there's plenty of bosses where lower level accounts wouldn't normally be able to have a good option to bring and now they have a colossal blade which isn't amazing but i think it's better than the previous option the barrier to entry for a pvm it definitely isn't as steep with the colossal blade so i i definitely like it and i definitely think it served this place now the next boss i'll be killing is Callisto and I do not want to bring my best gear when killing Callisto so here is what I'll be bringing not risking anything that I'm not afraid to lose so I will definitely lose a little bit of DPS but we still have a 120 strength bonus and we'll still have that plus 10 max hit because Callisto is a 5x5 monster and I will be also be luring him to a safe spot which I'll go ahead and show you guys since it isn't too complicated. So after teleporting to Aaron Carl, I'm going to go ahead and get Callisto's aggro, assuming no one else is here. It looks like I am lucky. You may have to get pretty close to Callisto, but it looks like uh, Callisto is very angry at me. Try to stay full HP throughout this entire process as Callisto can uh, hit very, very high very, very quickly. Once you have Callisto's aggro, you want to go specifically right behind this tree. I don't know why I went to that tile. Until Callisto stops walking, he'll be trapped behind this tree. Once that happens, I have a tile marked all the way over here uh I, you can either pause the video or you'll see the tile as i run over here i'm going to get dragged actually it looks like the tile is right here is the one i need to go to and once that happens i'm going to wait for callisto to at least see me and then once callisto sees me once again you just stand here to this next tile as you can see callisto kind of walks him what his way a little bit to the east and then you can just attack him right here and this is how you say spot Callisto, and normally it's pretty tough to actually kill Callisto. I'm not even using Piety, and I'm not even potted, and we've already hit three times out of the four hits I've swung so far. So the Colossal Blade might be pretty OP here. I'm going to go ahead and pot up, put on Piety, and see how long the rest of the kill takes. Okay, so that kill definitely took a while, but it wasn't that bad. And what I mean by it wasn't that bad is Callisto has an extremely high defense level, and this sword performed pretty decent. Less than three minutes for an entire kill for Callisto. If you've ever killed Callisto before, especially using melee in a safe spot like that, you'll know that's not actually that bad of a time. I think I'm going to relur Callisto and try it just a couple times, see if I got really lucky, because I feel like I did at the start there, and kind of give my consensus on the sword. Currently, I'm thinking the sword may be an option if you're trying to get a dragon pickaxe. And there is our second Callisto kill. This one was much slower, as you can see in the chat, of 5 minutes and 45 seconds. So I definitely say I got very lucky on the first kill, but I will actually say I got unlucky on this kill. And I'm expecting closer to like 4 to 5 minutes for a kill. I hit a lot of 1s and 2s, and if you know how max hits work on RuneScape, the average hit is what half of you at max hit is, so hitting those low numbers is just very unfortunate. I will say I think the Colossal Blade actually performed very, very well. If you were looking for a weapon, if you don't have a god sword already to kill Callista with, maybe you want a dragon pickaxe on your Iron Man or something like that. 
The Colossal Blade could be a good option for that, for maybe killing Callisto or another uh, Wilderness boss, which I'll actually be killing next. So let me go ahead and deposit what I got and I'll show the final boss I'll be testing out in this video. So the final boss I'll be testing is actually the Chaos Elemental. Unfortunately, the Chaos Elemental is not actually a 5x5 monster, it is a 3x3, so I will not be getting the full effect of the Colossal Blade. But that is okay, as I'm actually just going to be flinching the Chaos Elemental like a lot of people do. So the hits should be semi-accurate, it's just it will not be getting the full effect of the max hit of the Colossal Blade. Now this first kill at the Chaos Elemental was actually extremely slow, and of course I only get 4 bones as a drop, a very very unusual drop. I'm going to just say I got very unlucky. I do think the Colossal Blade is very good here. 314 isn't terrible, but I think we can get much better. I'm going to go for one more kill and hopefully we can have some better hits and actually get a decently fast kill here. And there is another Chaos Elemental kill. That one felt a lot faster. I have no idea what the Task Complete Hoarder is, but I guess that is whatever it is. So yeah, I think I'm pretty impressed with the Colossal Blade. Nothing like meta-defining in my opinion, but it really, really lowers the barrier entry for people trying to get into PVM much earlier on our account. Before going to my conclusions on the Colossal Blade, there is one last use I want to mention that the Colossal Blade can be good for, and that is actually PKing. It is a 60 attack weapon, and it is just strictly better than the Barrel Chest Anchor, as it has 98 slash bonus instead of the 92 crush bonus that the Anchor has. But there is one other good thing about the Colossal Blade that kind of makes it a little better than the anchor, and that is you don't actually have to quest the Great Brain Robbery to use it. The Great Brain Robbery does require a prayer level, I think it's level 50 prayer. So for example, a lot of accounts want to keep their prayer level at level 13 sometimes, sometimes at level 31, so they can just have access to ultimate strength or superhuman strength, and they don't have a amazing KO weapon if they are a 60 attack account. Now they have a new, I guess, best in slot KO weapon, being the Colossal Blade. They couldn't get an anchor because of their prayer level, and it is way better than the Dragon 2H. It even has a faster attack speed than the Dragon 2H. So if you are a PKer and you fit that niche, you could use a Colossal Blade. It looks sick, it has an extremely cool attack animation, and you'd probably be one of the only people PKing with it, and it would actually perform pretty well, I imagine. So that is going to be all the testing I'm going to do in this video for the Colossal Blade, and my final thoughts on it are pretty much what I've been saying. If you're a higher level account, it doesn't really change anything, it's not going to be better than a god sword, it's not really going to be better than a whip, and if you even try to fit it into these niche, it just doesn't perform as a level 75, level 70 attack weapon. It's a level 60 attack weapon, and it performs like a level 60 attack weapon. However, if you are 60 attack, maybe you just completed Monkey Madness like I think I mentioned in this video, and you have 60 attack and you're looking to kill Seracnus, maybe you want the uh, Seracnus cudgel, maybe you want a dragon pickaxe for your account, I've just shown you that it is very decent, at least, at going for those items, and that's what it can be used for. I feel like that is its best use scenario, and it does have uses in that regard. It's probably... I wouldn't call it best in slot in a sense, because there's always very niche ways of doing things, but I definitely feel like the Colossal Blade is a very cool option if you're looking to kill Seracnus maybe with some buddies, maybe you want to kill Callisto with some buddies, or maybe you just want to flinch Chaos Elemental. You have a new option with the Colossal Blade, like I said, not meta-defining, but still an option for those lower level accounts. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know a lot of people wanted to see me test the Colossal Blade. I don't think it's as OP as a lot of people may have th thought it is, but I will say it's probably one of the coolest looking weapons in the game. I might even rock it for Fashion Scape from now on. Just look at your character walking around with this thing. It even matches my gray Fashion Scape, really putting the gray and grayest cat with this weapon. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, a like would be much appreciated. And I'll see you guys soon with another video showing off the rewards from this giant foundry, which is actually the ore packs as I'll be buying 150 of them. So I'll have to get a little bit more points and we'll see how good these things actually are. If you want to see that, stay tuned and I'll see you guys with that one in a few days. Later.